Okay, so this is gonna be um, St. John's School Bus by Marcy Playground. Uh, it's a pretty easy song. It's only like, I don't know, five different chords in the whole thing. So it should be a pretty quick video. So I'll play through it real quick just so you know what you're gonna learn. basically it. So I guess we'll get right into the intro. Okay. So the intro of the song is really easy. There's only f four chords in it and that's like 75% of the song. So uh, first chord is second fret of the E string, fourth fret of the A string. Uh, and then you slide that up two frets to the fifth fret. And then you slide that down to the open E and second fret of the A. <clears throat> and then the next and final chord is first fret of the E, third fret of the A. So. Okay. So <clears throat> basically, what you do is you hit four on the first chord one, two, three, four. And then four on the next chord. Um, and then seven on this one, and on the eighth beat, you hit this chord. So it goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you slide up and do it again. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, just practice that. Um, but they palm mute it in the song, so it's like. And they also do this like little fancy, like. It's kind of like a scratchy. I don't know what to call it really. So, what I like to do is I like to play the first and the last chord of like every chord uh, open so it's like okay and so this weird little scratchy chord uh, all they're doing is they're just strumming the last three uh, strums faster than normal so it's one two three You just gotta practice that. But that's like the intro, and that's like half the song right okay. there. So the next part, um, you do that like, I don't know how many times, five times maybe. And then the last time, they start to play the chords unpalm muted. So it'll be something like this. So what we're doing there is we're doing the same chords, just unpalm muted. And then I like to do an E major chord. Instead of just this, you can do this. So. E major chord is ring finger, second fret, A string. Or no, sorry, middle finger, second fret, A string. Re ring finger, um, second fret. Uh, D string and pointer finger first fret G string and then you just play all the strings Okay, so Okay, so now the chorus um, It's f four shapes uh, there's um, 
first one, uh, which is open E and then second fret on the A string, and the little plucking pattern. Um, I don't really want to explain it. You can just listen to it and ear it out. It goes like. So, the first part, it's going to go, and then you're going to switch your pointer finger to the second fret of the E string, and now the A is going to be open. So, and then you're going to bring it up to the fifth fret of the E, fourth fret of the A. Okay, so it's... back down to the first one. Okay, so. And then it goes, it skips, and this is like a weird thing that they do at the end. It goes, uh, up to the third shape, which is the fifth fret of the E, fourth of the A, and then back down to the first shape again, and then all the way up to the seventh fret of the E, ninth fret of the A, and then back down to the first one, and they end on a chord. So it goes. progression. So I'll play through it <clears throat> one more time. last part it's like a little solo -y type thing that they do um, I guess this is probably like the little trickiest part of the song uh, he's just like plucking different chords instead of like playing the chords out he just plucks like strings um, okay so it starts off with twice on the open open E and then the first fret and then the second fret so Okay, so then after that, he hits the 4th fret of the D string and 3rd fret of the G string. So. Okay. And then after that, he slides up from the 3rd fret of the E to the 5th. Okay. And then he hits the... 7th fret of the D string and 6th fret of the G string. Okay. Um, and then he does the E major chord that we were doing before, except he just plucks all the strings individually. So it goes E, A, D, G, and then it does the open E twice and then one, two. So playing it all the way through, it goes. And then it does that like, I don't know, four times or something. Back into 
bars. So there's just like a little one second pause between that little plucking section and then back into the chorus. And that is the whole song, basically. I don't think I forgot anything. Hopefully not. So, yep, that's it.